Hello brothers and sisters, this is our eighth video, the last one of our eight part series, Hidden Truth. And my hope is that, uh, you know, you've gained some knowledge from this study and I hope it's brought some edification to you. So uh, let's get right into it. And uh, you know, dear friends, it's not a question of how good you are or how good you can be what church you attend or you know how many good works you have under your belt or how many brownie points you think you have in heaven the truth is without the righteousness of Christ Jesus covering us we're hopeless we're unable to ever be in God's presence you know God tells us in his word that we've all come short of the glory of God and we keep coming short and if we look at one of Paul's books in Romans chapter 3 verse 23 for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God how many fall short all of us come short we all fall short you know God told the Jews that all their good works were as filthy rags in Isaiah and if we look at Isaiah chapter 64 verse 6 but we all, we, we are all as unclean, as an unclean thing. And all our righteousness are as filthy rags. And we all do fade as a leaf. And our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. So how many filthy rags can we keep piling on ourselves before God sees us as righteousness? None. Absolutely none. No amount of good works will God see as righteousness. In order for us to be saved, we need the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And to get that, we simply believe and trust in Christ Jesus and the gospel given to us for today. There's no raising our hands, no coming forward, no joining a local church, no getting dunked in a hot tub or sprinkled or poured on, no doing any of that stuff. Simply believe, believe and trust anywhere you go with your eyes wide open. It's really that simple. God made it simple. So we'd have absolutely no excuse. The only thing standing in our way is our pride. You know, another problem is we, we believe that if we break it, we can fix it. But the reality is we can't fix it. God alone is the only one who was able to fix it and he did fix it forever at the cross once you're saved you can never lose that salvation because Christ is the one who's keeping you saved not you and believe me you'll continue to sin as long as you're in this earthly body you know sometimes knowingly and sometimes unknowingly but just know believe and trust that God has already forgiven you at the cross and he has given you all spiritual blessings in heavenly places and we read that in Ephesians 1 chapter uh, Ephesians 1 verse 3 blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ the very instant you believe the Holy Spirit moves in at the same time and he'll never leave you no matter what you do and he'll even pray on your behalf 24 7 we see that in Romans chapter 8 verse 26 likewise the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities for we know not what we should pray for as we ought but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered in fact the Holy Spirit will continue praying on your behalf 24 7 365 days a year until you move from this body to the next now consider thanking God more and trying less just trust him completely completely surrender to his will you know God has it all under control folks you just have to trust him remember Jesus Christ died to give you the gift of salvation not probation okay he took care of all of it on the cross once and for all you know as I was working on this eighth and final video for our series I, I was just going over in my head 
just what should the last video be about and it came to me the simple gospel the foundation of the body of Christ and the simplicity okay and, and the key to this whole thing so I leave you with this you know if you want to understand God's Word use the tools that I gave you context is key ask the who what where why how all those questions and also remember you know what dispensation you're dealing with in in every particular passage keep them lined up and study my friend study know God's Word it's your weapon okay it's the sword of truth now listen if you don't know Christ Jesus as your Savior today then please I beg you consider the results of not knowing him as your Savior it won't be pleasant my dear friend so if you want to be sure that no matter what happens that you'll be in heaven when the time comes that you'll be caught up from the grips of the coming Antichrist and spared from taking part in the worst time ever to hit the earth worse than Noah's flood worse than any time in the future it's gonna be hell on earth and you don't want to be here for it I promise you if you sincerely understand that you're on the wrong path okay and and you're and that you're covered in sins and you sincerely want to change that path because you realize that you're dead in sin without Christ Jesus then with sincere conviction admit that you're lost in your sins and tell God that you want him to change you into the person that he wants you to be and that you sincerely believe and trust in Christ Jesus' good news, the gospel, that he is God in the flesh, that he did die on the cross, and he did take your sins with him into death, and he did on the third day rise from the grave alive and in absolute righteousness, and now covers you with that righteousness, making you forgiven of all sin, and making you righteous in the sight of God, covering you with the righteousness of Christ Jesus, his only begotten Son. Believe and trust. Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 5. Now I make known, known to you, brethren, the gospel which I preached to you, which also you received, in which also you stand, by which also you are saved, if you hold fast the word which I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day according to the Scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. In Romans 10, verse 9 through 11, Thou, if that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. If you've made the decision to be saved today, please feel free to send me a message so you know I can answer any of your questions for you. This concludes our series of Hidden Truth, and we'll be getting into the, the specifics of God's dispensations, the seven dispensations in our next study, and it's going to be called God's Seven Dispensations. So I love you all. Peace and grace in Christ Jesus be unto you and your families, and I'll see you in the next video.